Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my Lego Harry Potter years 1 through 4 walk through Ruby. This is Shiloh, and we are now on part 5. Uh, yes, this would be part 5. Yeah, <laughs> this would be part 5, and we have just finished potions, potions class. In the last part, I believe we did potions and lumos. Those are our first two of four classes, and we are about to do the next two. So, let's get going. Alright, so there has been a lack of parts recently. I actually have made uh, videos for this and for Star Wars. I just haven't uploaded them. I really need to get into doing that more because I need to stop being lazy. Although I do have summer assignments for school that I'm going to need to get done. Uh, I have to read this new book called Feed. No, well, not new. I have to read this book called Feed for summer, and that's just for the school, for my English class, or British literature class, I guess. I have to read uh, Lord of the Flies and some other thing. I don't remember, but I'm going to get to that in July when I'm less busy. I just returned from a trip with my Lasallian youth group because I attended Lasallian High School. I returned from a Lasallian youth gathering in Minnesota. And that was, a, I had a really good time there. I met a bunch of kids from a bunch of other schools in the Lasallian network. It was really interesting and really fun to meet all of them. And I had a really good time. I want to go back next year too. Next year it's going to be in Chicago. It's going to be here. So um, it will be easier for me to get there. But anyway, uh, that, that I didn't record any parts this week, of course. I left on Sunday and just returned yesterday. So... Um, but yes, we're back into this, and what we have now is we've, this is a new area, if you notice, I opened that door with that lion's head back there, and we are now out in this courtyard, where I am going to get something very useful for us, I'm going to get us an extra really quick. Now, I said I wouldn't be getting all the extra stuff until free play and exploration and everything, but this will help us get some stats to buy all of those things like characters and extras and things. This, um, I don't know if you recognize it, from previous LEGO games, this is the only game where red books look like, red, red bricks look like this, this is a red brick, and it's, they've made it look like a parcel, so when we pick it up to attain it, we take it over to Hedwig on his perch, or her perch, excuse me, and we now have Collectco Studs. Which is quite a useful um, extra. It means we can now now the studs that nearly held the snake drops will become part of our stud collection. Uh, we have to buy it and activate it, of course, first. But that'll be you know, we'll do that in a while. All in good time. All in due time. So um, yeah. This new area, this courtyard area, there's a lot to do out here, there's a lot of places connecting out here. You see these, I really want to deal with this now. I'll just do it. Whatever. No, I'm going to wait till I get some more spells, it's funnier. But you see these bullies bullying this kid, this is a student in peril. I know it seems kind of evil to just leave him where he is, but I'm going to get those kids very soon with something very funny. Oh, whoops. So now we are out here. This is one of the edges of Hogwarts. This doesn't connect to anywhere else. And we are going to follow Nearly Hill Snake to our next class. If you recognize this is the greenhouse area. There's a, quite a lot to do out here too, but for another time. I don't understand why there's bullying at Hogwarts anyway. I mean, those kids bullying that kid. I mean, you can see there's bullying between the houses, but like, do the teachers just not see this? I mean, she is one courtyard away. Has that kid, that kid was screaming for help, I'm sure. And she, the Professor Sprout is right here. She could go out and look and see what's up. I mean, come on now. She's too busy teaching us class. Okay. Huh? Oh. Hmm. 
Ah, ah. Oh man, Professor Sprout. That's some. You're supposed to know how to handle this. There we go. She's a really good teacher that really wouldn't happen to her. And she wouldn't let this happen to one of her students. Yeah, okay. So that's gross. But basically, the objective of this class is to save Ron from the Devil Snare. So we are now Harry and Hermione, and we have learned a kind of new spell-ish. It's kind of an add-on spell. We had we just learned Lumos, and now we are learning Lumos Solem. Um. Yeah, that's the spell. If you remember, that's the spell Hermione used to get rid of the Devil Snare in year one. So this is this will be the spell used to handle Devil Snare because it says you need Musala to press Z to cast the Musala on Devil Snare, sorry. My voice is crazy this morning. Um really not morning, it's like 1.30 in the afternoon, but I slept because I just had a long time traveling. Anyway, we can fire the Musala with the Devil Snare to get rid of it. And we need, we're trying to rescue Ron, we gotta break through this wall of, um, plants. Malfoy's just over here laughing at nothing. Um. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I need to be really handling this. I'm just going around shooting everything. I like studs. If you haven't noticed, I really like studs. Like, I feel like they're a necessity, which they kind of are in a Lego game. We need to get this wagon, real girl thing. Right thing. Yeah, that's not it, though. We still need a few more pieces to build Ron's rescue cot. And now I'd say, like, Ron, like, oh my god, Ron, what have you done this time? But this wasn't really Ron's fault. I'm kind of thinking this was Professor Spouse. She wasn't really looking. And a good teacher would not let that happen to her students, and she knew that these plants were dangerous. So if something like this just like happens all the time, you'd think she wouldn't be teaching about this plant. Yeah, you jump in here. And we've, okay, so we've destroyed that, and we're just gonna get these studs. Ron can hang in there for a minute. He'll be fine. Um, and we saved him. Faster. But we did save him, and now we have Lumos Solem. So does Ron somehow. Like you'd think, you'd think he wouldn't have it. Gold brick, ten out of two hundred. But you think Ron wouldn't have that spell? But I'm pretty sure he does. Yeah, he does. So whatever. I guess he somehow learned it from watching Harry and Hermione save his life. Or at least Harry. I didn't really play as Hermione right there, but you know, she she helped. She was there for intelligent support. I am getting a lot of text messages right now. I don't want to pause my game, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to. I might cut. Oh, no, that was wrong. All right. I might uh, cut this part down really quick. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that, but uh, uh, nonetheless, we are continuing. We are going to go just finish horology. We're going to our next class, which is an iconic class and an iconic scene in the first movie. We'll. I'm pretty sure you'll recognize it when we get there, and it's right out here. We have a little hint of that thing floating in the middle of the empty field. I'm sure you recognize this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Malfoy has put it on some slick get his greasy hair. Oh, no, that was someone else. Ooh. Ooh. That probably hurt harder than Ron getting him in his room. Ooh. 
Alright, so... If you... I'm pretty sure you know what's happening here, but basically Neville has completely humiliated himself and caused himself a lot of physical harm. And in the process he has dropped his remember all and Malfoy picked it up, but since he's an even bigger wimp in the game than he is in the movies, he didn't even try to run away with it, he just threw it to some creepy gargoyle. So now we're gonna get to remember all back from the gargoyle. Being good friends we are. Good brave Gryffindors. But yeah, so we're gonna use Harry and it's obvious that Harry has some uh, acute flying abilities, so not only can he ascend on his room, which other characters cannot do, but he can fire spells. I'm not sure who else can do that either. It's very, it'll be very helpful here. So we're just gonna chase this gargoyle around. Try to remember all the you know, you know, I'm gonna show you. Something. Hold on. There's something else. Like Ron and Hermione can fly too, but like Ron, he isn't as good. He flies slow and he can't like ascend or anything or fire any spells. And yeah, he'll just fly around there. And Hermione, Hermione's just awful. Look at her flailing around on this broomstick, like, I understand that she's supposed to be bad, but she doesn't have to be, like, awful to look at, because that, that's just sad right there. Alright, so, the other characters can't fly, just maybe not as good. Somebody else flies like Hermione, I can't think of who. That'd be Quirrell, you get him. Um, so we're gonna, yeah, he's so, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that was, but, we're gonna, if we can, I'll shoot him, my goodness. Okay, there we go. So we've beaten that gargoyle, and now he's giving it over to this three-eyed plant. Only at Hogwarts, right? Um, basically, you've got to shoot each of the stems. Each of the flowers. The plant will die. At least I remember all, but you have to do it fast. Also, the flowers will come back to life. We released it. I love this cutscene right here. It's like they've both seen God. Was that amazing? Yeah! You love Ron's face right there. Mm. Broomstick flying. Sweet. Okay, so... We have completed our classes. That is it for this part. It's already about 15 minutes, so... Um, over 15 minutes. So, come back for the next part, part 6, and we shall be putting that skill we just learned to good use. See you guys then.